Hey guys, this one's for Buckle Tom. He is looking to move characters towards where he clicks, um, and then also set up borders. And looks like he wants to do stuff with animations as well. So let's try to get as much of this in as quickly as I can. Uh, just going to start a new project here and start out with a few sprites. I'm going to do some grass. Oop. And we'll do some sky. And then we'll do a character. And these are, oops, are all just going to be nice, ugly squares. And then to change your character size, your background size, any images. Never do a drag and drop like that. Um, go in here and actually edit the size. And then that'll that'll stop the images from messing up later on. We got a bunch of things moving at once. Um, for this video and just save time though, I'm just gonna do it the lazy way. Alright. So we got a player on the map. And we got a ground in the sky. So we are going to throw some events in here so we can get the guy to move. Uh, we're going to need a mouse ac action for this. Oops. So add the mouse input. You might already have it, so if it's not there, when you type in mouse, you probably already have it over on your side. And that just allows you to select conditions from a mouse. So on click, and we're just going to use a left click, single click. And we're going to want to move this, so we have to give him a behavior to let him move. And move to. So the behavior's on him now. And here's the whole little grouping of options you get from move to. Um, just so everything's nice and slow and easy to see, I'm going to set the speed a little slower. Um, acceleration, deceleration is how quickly they get up to their max speed or back down to zero if you turn them off. Um, and putting those at zero will just make it instant. Um, so if you want it more realistic, better graphics, um, you'd want to have some sort of acceleration in there so they ramp up, and then deceleration so they kind of skid to a stop. Um, and then setting angle is uh, going to change the direction that the box is facing. So it'll kind of walk towards your click or you can turn it off and just have it stay completely 90 degree angle. Um, I'll show you that real quick once I get it set up. So on left click, we're gonna just give Sprite 3, which is our player, move to position, and the position we want to be our mouse, mouse X, mouse Y, and we can show that, bloop, and then this is uh, set angle on, and as you can see, it turns, so it walks towards it. And then we can do set angle off, rerun it, and you'll see it just stays flat image. So depending on what you're looking for, uh, you'll want to use those two. And then there's going to be multiple different ways you can set it up to stop on uh, different areas. Um, first one that came to my mind is just going to be stop on solid. So we're going to set this to stop on solid. Um, nothing set as solid yet. So it will continue to walk. So it will be able to walk over the grass. Um, and then we're going to add a behavior to this, which will be solid. Just like we added move. This one's on the sky. We're setting it to solid. And with stop on solid, you can run around on the grass. And then when you hit the top, you stop. So you can run against it, but if you grind up at all, you'll stop running. Um, and then if this is sky and you want to make it a little more realistic, um, you'd be able to step kind of into the sky as long as you stay on the ground. So you can edit where that block is, where the solid point is. Um, that's with this little guy right down here. They're called uh, collision polygons. And you can either just change what they have. You can... Um, I haven't played with this in a while, but you can add extra shapes. You can make it all all sorts of exactly how you want it. 
but uh, for the sky, we're just going to move it up just a little bit on the bottom side. That way the player can kind of walk in there and have his head sticking into the sky, but his body's still on the ground. So it won't change how it looks at all. This. And then you'll see if we walk up, he'll kind of step up, but he still does hit that solid. Um, and then animation. So on this fun screen, we have animations. And obviously mine aren't going to look good. It's starting out as a square, but we're going to set a walk and a stand animation. <coughs> so while standing, the square is going to do nothing. And then while walking, um, this button right here just collapses it down to surround your image. Um, what I did, I just moved the starting image from stand over to walk. We always wanted to start at least close to, if not on the same image. Um, that way when it switches over, it's not this big transition. And then we're just going to do something to show it's walking. Um, I'm actually going to make this... It's goofy, but it'll work. So we got one there, and we can duplicate it. Let's go ahead and I'll duplicate a blank one. So we got funny looking little legs added on there. And do 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 do. Now they're sideways because he's walking. And actually, I'll get rid of that one. I'm going to set this to loop. So it repeats itself over and over again with these steps. And ping pong will make it jump forward and then backwards. No ping pong will make it go to the end and start over if you're on loop. And we'll set those and you can come over here and check it. Right now it is sitting on stand. We can move it to walk. We see his legs come out and we can hit preview. Oh. Well, preview's not available. Um, so we won't get to watch it beforehand, but we still can use this effect. So we're going to want him to walk whenever he is moving, and otherwise he'll switch to doing nothing. So we can go ahead and... Alright, sorry for that brief pause. Um, so we're going to grab the sprite. Oop, we want to start a new event. Uh, grab the sprite and compare speed. And let's just say greater than 2. Because he's going to be moving at 40 and then moving at 0 when he's not. So greater than 2 gives us a little bit of wiggle room. And set action, sprite, set animation, 2. And if you just type in the first quotation, it will show you all of your animations you have. We're going to set it to walk from the beginning. Um, you can do it from the beginning or the last frame it was on. Uh, we're going to go from the beginning. And we're just going to copy this and go less than or equal in case it actually falls on two, which in our case it can't. But And we're just going to change this to stand. So now we have our guy standing, we turn on walk, and you can see his dumb little legs moving. And I'll walk up, and he'll hit the top, and he goes back to standing. 
Um, hopefully that gives you something to play around with and uh, you can work up from there and let me know in the uh, board if you have any more questions. Alright, thanks. Bye.